What's going on ladies and gents, Dalibor here for T3G. Today we're talking about the Steam Controller. Now I don't usually talk about the box, but this thing is packaged just exquisitely. You've got the outside sleeve that gives you a little bit of information about what's in the box and what the controller can do, as well as once you open up that sleeve, it gives you this beautiful layer by layer breakdown of what's inside the controller and how it's built. Without further ado, let's get right into this bad boy. Now the beauty of this controller is that it's got everything you need to play any game on Steam and that includes games that are not built for actual controllers. It's got two trackpads, both of which kind of serve dual purposes. You've got your analog stick and you've got your standard buttons. Now on top of that, you've got your R1, L1 buttons, so your bumpers, and then you also have your dual triggers. And then on the bottom, you have a second set of triggers that are actually configurable. The whole thing is in fact completely configurable. You tell this thing to do whatever you want in whichever way you want it for any game that you want. This is the beautiful thing about it. If you want to disable every button except the three buttons you need to play a specific game, you can customize your controls per game and save that for just that game. You can have your default controls when, when you're in Steam Big Picture or Steam Normal. Otherwise, every time you go into a game, you will have custom controls. So for each game, you can have its own set of controls. Take our game for example. I know for a fact that it doesn't have controller support, but here I am playing the game with the controller. I start the game, move around, do everything I need to in the game with just this controller. It does everything the mouse and keyboard do and I've been able to program which buttons I want to do what. Now I've got it currently set up for the D-pad function on the left trackpad and for my directional controls, my shifting controls, I have the four buttons on the bottom. Now my jump I've mapped to the bottom trigger, I, I, the palm trigger I guess, I don't even know what to call it really, but the bottom trigger on the right. So really, I've disabled everything else, the only other thing that actually works is the right trigger for the click. So when you do get to the next level, or when you do need to restart a level, you, you can click with pressing down the right trackpad or pulling the trigger as is the standard setting. Now I wanted to address some of the specs that they have on the site actually. It has these dual stage triggers, which you can hear. So it actually pulls back, stops, and then if you pull a little harder, you get the click. So you actually have the trigger, which works just fine on its own. You can press it down, nothing else happens, or you can map separate features to it. You can connect through a wire or wirelessly. On the site, on Steam itself, for some reason it says that the cable is not included. However, with the included, uh, what I presume to be the dongle extension, uh, so in case, in case you want to plug your dongle into the back of the computer, but then you still want to have it on the front of the computer, you have this except, exceptionally long cable, really, that gives you that distance, and then you can still have it kind of close to your controller. You can actually use that to have a direct wired controller. Now it gives you up to, quote unquote, up to 80 hours of standard gameplay on standard AA batteries, which are included, which is nice. And I know a lot of people are definitely looking to hear how this thing feels in hand. And I'll be honest, it's actually not that bad. Uh, I was expecting that because of the really large swoop on the side of the controller, you were gonna get kind of an uncomfortable grip. But really, I feel like that's actually well thought out because where the trackpads are, that when you rest your hand on it, that's actually where your the, the kind of I don't even know, the back of your palm the the like inside of your thumb I don't even know what to call that spot but that's where that rests so really it's so that you're not kind of arching your thumb the whole time while you're doing your trackpad or your buttons or your, or your thumbstick I think it's actually a really really good placement of that kind of arch and, and bump I don't even know what to call it but I'm not a controller designer by any stretch now the site talks about an HD haptic feedback and that's something to kind of get used to when you first turn it on and uh, I actually have my setup to play a specific noise when I start it up. And you, this is all customizable in the interface. When you start it up, you actually hear it here. That's actually me moving my finger on the left trackpad. The right actually is your mouse trackpad. There is a bit of a feedback now that I'm thinking, now that I'm, now that I'm really kind of focusing on that one motion, there is a bit of a feedback but it's really ever so slight they talk about hd i would presume that they're talking about very very precise haptics and i'll be honest it's very true i have zero problem with this i can actually move around in windows with this pretty easily without any kind of hang-ups 
because it is pretty accurate, the right is kind of just like a small trackpad on your laptop or anything like that. I, mean, I don't think dual, dual touch works, but who knows? Maybe in another update. Speaking of updates, that's another great feature on this thing. It updates wirelessly. You turn it on, you turn on Steam, and it's like, hey, there's an update for the controller. Put it down, don't touch it for a minute. And we're done. Have a great day. And that's it. That's all you need to do. You don't need to plug it in. You don't need to do anything because it just updates. It's fantastic. All in all, I give this thing raving, absolutely maddening, thumbs up. Definitely, definitely buy this. I cannot really recommend this device more. To see something that took a game that was built some time back, honestly, that, you know, G-Shift was made in 2011, to see that game played on a controller is simply incredible in my brain. I think this is definitely the next step in kind of bridging the console PC divide, and I think that everyone should get one of these. I absolutely love it. I'm going to keep using it. I'm going to play around with other games. Appreciate you guys for watching. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up. If you have any questions, make sure you drop them down below. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Check out T3GTech.com, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that good stuff. And make sure you check out our stream on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash T3GGaming. Thanks again for watching. See you guys next time.